let's unbox Cordelia versus Green Valley. I get this all the time. I live in Green Valley, not Cordelia. Or Costco is in Green Valley. Well, that's debatable, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So here's the deal from someone who grew up here. Cordelia and Green Valley are two different areas and separate. They are even on opposite sides of the freeway. So let's get started with Cordelia and a little history lesson. When doing research, I was surprised by how long Cordelia has actually been around. This little town was established in 1853 by a ship captain named Robert Waterman. Side note, we have a road named after him in Fairfield. But originally the town was named Bridgeport after Bridgeport, Connecticut. And then in 1869, a post office was established and a new name was given, Cordelia, which was Waterman's wife. How cute. But really Cordelia is not a town or a city. It doesn't even have its own zip code anymore. It's just an unincorporated community. If you live here or know anything about it, let's face it, it's windy. I don't think there's a time that the wind does not blow. There's a reason those trees have posts holding them up. But in the summertime, that breeze feels mighty good. So what's in Cordelia? Well, Cordelia sits right between Highway 80 and 680. So it's a commuter's dream and it's made up of housing subdivisions, schools, fast food, gas station corner. You can even find a couple of good restaurants thrown in. But if you're looking for extensive shopping, you're not gonna find it here. And then in the middle of the subdivisions, we have a local high school, middle schools, and elementary schools. While Green Valley has award-winning golf course, more to come on that. Cordelia cannot be outdone with its mini golf, Scandia. But Cordelia does offer affordable housing with more milder weather. Cordelia does offer more affordable housing with milder If you're looking for more about <laughs> But if you're looking for more affordable housing with more milder weather, then this may be the place for you. And I saved the best for last. That is well known by all the locals. Wait for it. Wait for it. Thompson's Corner. Henry Old Man Studer and his brother Jim built this community gathering spot. Studer was the proprietor of one of the oldest barns in Solano County, and it was relocated here. Dancing and entertainment took place upstairs, and the local lore is that there was a brothel included in these offerings. Scandal! Fun fact, on November 20th, 26, the San Francisco Orchestra played for an all-night dance. That would have been cool to see. Then Charles Thompson owned the building sometime after 1940, and it's now the oldest commercial establishment doing business in Central Cordelia. The two-story Coppert Saloon is a landmark in Cordelia, and anybody who's anybody in the Bay Area has been to Thompson's Corner. It's the social center of Cordelia today. And then let's move on to Green Valley. We will cross the freeway into Green Valley where we have the most controversy. So for this illustration, I'm going to call Green Valley Upper and Lower, which is older and newer. So Upper Green Valley being the original, here you're going to find the OGs nestled amongst the hills in their custom built homes and alongside the Green Valley golf course. Remember I said I'd get back to you on that? Well, since the mid 1800s, Green Valley Country Club was a family home and a cherry orchard. In the spring of 1949, a group of families purchased the 500 acre F. Sidney Jones Ranch, then the world's largest orchard. And on March 6, 1950, the first general membership meeting was held. In the summer of 1950, the cherry orchard was transformed into a family playground. It brought in hundreds of people every single weekend. The mansion is now a gathering spot for members of the country club and the 18 hole championship golf course is a must for all golf enthusiasts. So when we talk about living in Green Valley, this is the tried and the true, the OGs in upper older Green Valley. But over the many years of building and expanding, we have lower Green Valley, newer Green Valley. This includes the newer subdivision homes that includes parks and schools thrown in. Along with that, we have a little shopping area, which includes, as I mentioned before, Costco. Here you can find smaller restaurants, grocery shopping, nail salons, hair salons, you know, the usual. 
So there you have it. If you want more insights on this area, check out this video next.